this cyst you had for a few years here, and it just recently got inflamed right when you made an appointment to see us. I'll just try to see if you can squeeze any of this stuff out of it here first. There's stuff in the middle. It got inflamed and leaked on him, and the problem is it's like on the small of his back, so it was hurting him. Let's see, it's definitely a cyst. It's all numb already, so I can squeeze some of that out. You really got rid of most of it with your with the inflammation there. So we're gonna we have to since it's like that and we want to make sure it goes away. We're just gonna have to excise it more completely. Are you okay with that? You'd rather it be off of him. Make sure nothing's ever hurting you, okay? I'm fine. Good. You going back to work today? Okay, retired. You retired? Lucky you. You're so young. Sixty-five. Uh, how long you been retired for? Oh. Uh, Almost a year. Are you are you pretty happy being retired? Are you miss work? No, I don't miss work. <laughs> I miss my buddy though. Yeah, the buddies at work, the camaraderie at work. Yeah. Did you have one good buddy? Oh, more. Oh, multiple buddy. multiple buddies. Okay, I didn't know if you said one. You were sounding like you said just one buddy. Yeah. Do you ever go back and visit them? Rub it in a little bit. Bring your coffee and no, sit back and relax. No, I'm just retired too. So. Oh, okay. That's good. You all are about the same age. You kind of grew up and worked there together. Well, some of them. You know. Yeah. How long did you work in this place that you worked? I worked for Boeing for thirty-seven oh, years. Oh, you worked for Boeing. I didn't know that. Okay. We get a lot of patients that work for Boeing. You know. How do you like this whole Donald Trump? He was he was referencing Boeing Boeing recently, huh? Well, he really soft in his mouth. <laughs> he really doesn't know what's going on. It sounded like he was trying to do a business negotiation kind of thing with that. Oh, he said it costs expensive, and he's with, trying to make it. With the expensive presidential yeah. Air Force One, it's a custom-built airplane. Yeah. It doesn't matter who builds it, it's going to be custom-built. You think that the airplane that he actually owns right now is nicer than Air Force One? Somebody, I remember no. reading the news that it was nicer. No. Uh -huh. Is the Air Force One the nicest plane there is, like in America, you think? Or in the world? Or you think there's the nicer world. planes? It, it, because it has capabilities no other airplane has. Really? Like, mm -hmm. well, I know. Charters, missile yeah. invasion, all this stuff. Really? All the like it has ammunition in it and things to fight off. Really? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I saw Air Force One in Wichita. We used to maintenance. Uh huh. For that, you know, we uh -huh. have a contract to maintain the Air Force One. You understand, when the airplane is being built, mm -hmm. once it becomes an airplane, when modification comes in, the airplane is got it 27, 24 7. Ah. So nobody goes there. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to ask, stop for just a moment, a conversation, because if you are touching metal underneath here, yes. like release your hands from underneath, okay. just for a moment, because I'm buzzing something, and it will make you feel electric shock in your fingers. You don't want that. Okay, right? I'm not touching anything metal. I think I, I saw you grabbing underneath it. You're going to turn me into a Frankenstein? No, you just go, ow, like you jump because your finger is doing a shock. Like oh. You put your finger in an electric shock socket. And then people usually remind me when they come back, they go, remember when you shocked me? I don't know, it's something that people remember <laughs> when that happens. It must be really nice and when you're working for a company like Boeing, because it's really you're doing, you know, it keeps your mind fresh and interesting. You're probably surrounded by some very smart people. Very smart people. <laughs> I don't speak ill of Boeing. I work for the company. That's good. So oh yes, sounds like it was a nice company to work for. It is. And they're around here, right? Because there's Boeing, and there's another. I feel like there's a lot of people who I used to see, even more so in the past, that work for like the space station or something. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we're just putting these sutures in that are, these are the ones, the first we put these deep sutures in that don't come out. They actually get absorbed and they stay in over time. It looks like we got the whole thing. I think we did, we did pretty well there. 
these will stay in, but they will kind of slowly absorb over the next two months. Okay. And we give it strength over time. And then the top stitch we'll put in, I know you come from far, so you could probably have, if you, do you know anybody that can help you take out stitches? I'm going to send my kids to take it with Okay. Oh, that'll be fun for them then. Give them a little thrill. Oh, it'll be like, a, it'll be like Christmas. It'll be about Christmas, so <laughs> it'll be like opening a gift. I've seen it done. Just cut it and then pull it. Yep. Pull and you see our video. Yeah, we can, we can make it so that you just pull one knot. I'll, I'll try to take a picture. Maybe if you have your phone, you can take a picture with your phone too so we can show you. You know, we can take a little video so we can show you whoever's going to pull, pull, take them off here this time. Got everything up? I think so. Oh, I'll cut through it too later and see how it's see what's going on in there. It's always interesting to find out. I know when I a pinch it like ice cream come out. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it tastes as good as ice cream. No, I don't think so. But we always compare it to food, isn't that funny? Well, it we, does look like ice yeah, cream. It, it looks like, look like it's layer. organic. It looks like that's why I think we maybe we call it food because it's organic. We're doing a running subcuticular stitch, which is like a stitch that does not, it can leave in for longer and it doesn't cause like little, you know, hash marks on the skin. And uh, it kind of winds under the skin. More. So what do you like to do then now in your free time? I don't have any free time. Like. You don't? You're busy? You're like my dad when he, when he retired. Well, my, my stepmother is 94, so I've been trying to help her. She lives oh, in Ventura. Nice. So. Okay. You to visit her every day, pretty much? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like 14 hours a day when I go visit her. Okay, got it. So once a week, sometimes twice a week, it's really tiring. Yeah. That's nice that you do that, though. Okay. Good. Looks good. Okay. Thank you. So what we'll do here, let me tell, and I'll tell the video here, too, because what we're going to do is this is a winding stitch under the skin, but what all he has to do is, is take this one in the middle and snip it and then pull both sides out because it's connected there. So she's going to take a little nice after photo of it. It looks good. Okay, I stick to, sorry, you stick to the paper. You okay like that? Oh, yeah. Careful. Okay. That's a big fat. Oh, boy, am I. That's a piece of skin. See how thick your skin is? You're, th you're little and ah. have thick skin. Let's cut right through it here. It's inside? Yeah, it's inside. We can go cross section of it. It's not that deep anymore. So you already, you got rid of a lot of it and there's scar tissue. I can feel how firm it is. Oh, there it is. Here it is. I squeeze more than that out. Yeah, I know. You squeeze most of it out. Oh, here, this one has more on the side. Look. You can pull that all out. There's your little cyst right there. See, there's the encasing, the cap sack that it's in. I want to get rid of it. That's like a big black hood. Yeah. There you go. Glad your little I get friend. Rid of it, yeah. yeah. It was bothering me so much because it's right in the back of my, uh -huh. in the middle, and I sit on it when I drive. It's keep touching me. touching me.